still so many questions tonight, just hours after a deadly shooting in Capitol Hill this morning. A 16 year old was killed. A 14 year old is still in critical condition at Harbor View. The fate of the Capitol Hill protest zone is uncertain and the city is not being forthcoming about its plan moving forward. Seattle police spent hours collecting evidence and interviewing witnesses about the second death at the Capitol Hill organized protest zone. It's a police presence that hasn't been seen in weeks. Video posted online shows the moments leading up to the shooting. What appears to be a white Jeep seen driving recklessly on the Cal Anderson soccer field. Just before 3 a.m., more than a dozen gunshots were heard on a live stream. The white Jeep is then seen slamming into barricades. Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best says the same Jeep was found riddled with bullets. And it is abundantly clear to our detectives people had been in and out of the car after the shooting. Detectives are trying to get information from witnesses. Detectives interviewed protesters who said they were in the chop at the time of the shooting with no luck. But as has been the case in other crime scenes up in this area, people are not being cooperative with our request for help. Meanwhile, the mood at the so-called chop has shifted. A zone originally occupied by people protesting police brutality and demanding a 50% cut to SPD's budget is now reeling with episodes of violence while trying to keep its message alive. The city had plans to dismantle parts of CHOP on Friday, but protesters put a stop to that. The mayor then said she had plans to remove the barricades on Sunday. That did not happen. Still no answer from Mayor Durkin to our question tonight about when the barricades will be removed here in Capitol Hill. In Seattle, Britt Moore, King 5 News. Now, a spokesperson for the mayor did send us an email as far as any progress goes toward dismantling the chop. They only said, quote, over the weekend, artisan demonstrators began cataloging and removing plywood to preserve art for future installations. Operational planning to remove some barriers and allow vehicle traffic is ongoing, end quote. Today,